क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सिक्स इफ फ्रॉम अ पॉइंट एक्स वन वाई वन थ्री डिस्टिंग नॉर्मल कैन बी ड्रॉन टू द पेराबोला वाई माइनस थ्री होल स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू एट टाइम्स एक्स प्लस थ्री देन द मिनिमम इंटीग्रल वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वन सो दिस इज जनरलाइज फॉर गेटिंग थ्री डिस्टिंग नॉर्मल एक्स वन शुड बी ग्रेटर देन टू ए सो हियर एक्स वन इज एक्स प्लस थ्री शुड बी ग्रेटर देन टू ए ए इज हियर टू सो एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन फोर माइनस थ्री सो फ्रॉम हियर एक्स इज ग्रेटर देन वन सो मिनिमम इंटीग्रल वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स वन इज टू सो ऑप्शन नंबर थ्री इज योर करेक्ट आंसर ना मूव ऑन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्सटी सेवन द एरिया ऑफ ट्राइंगल फॉर्म बाय पेयर ऑफ टेंजेंस ड्रॉन फ्रॉम द ओरिजिन टू द एलिप्स सिक्स एक्स माइनस वन होल स्क्वायर प्लस नाइन वाई स्क्वायर इज इक्वल टू टू एंड कॉड ऑफ कॉन्टैक्ट टू द एलिप्स विद रेस्पेक्ट टू द ओरिजिन इज सो सपोज दिस इज योर एलिप्स एंड हियर सपोज दिस इज ओरिजिन and this is chord of contact so question is asking area of triangle formed by pair of tangents drawn from origin to the ellipse and chord of contact of the ellipse with respect to origin so you can calculate equation of this chord of contact that is t equal to 0 with respect to origin so just write down equation of chord of contact 6x minus 1 minus 1 Plus nine y into zero is equal to two. So from here you are getting x minus one is equal to minus one by three. So x equal to two by three. X equal to two by three. Equation of chord of contact. So you can easily find intersection points of this chord of contact and your ellipse. So just substitute x equal to two by three in your ellipse. So you will get six times two by three minus one whole square. Plus nine y square is equal to two. So from here, nine y square equal to two minus two by three. So nine y square is equal to four by three. So y square equal to four divided by twenty seven. So one value of a is your two by three comma two divided by three root three, and another value is your Two by three comma minus two divided by three root three. So now you can calculate directly area of triangle OAB. One by two into length of perpendicular from origin to this line. That is suppose OM and length AB. So just calculate OM. Which is your two by three? Because this distance is your two by three. So one by two into two by three into AB. AB is distance between two points, which is your four by three root three. So answer is four by nine root three. Just multiply with root three in numerator and denominator, and you will get four root three divided by twenty-seven square unit. So option number one is your correct answer. Now move on next question. Question number sixty-eight. The slope of the normal drawn at the end of lattice rectum of the ellipse x square by four plus y square divided by nine is equal to one can be. So for this, here ellipse is in this form. So eccentricity of this ellipse is one minus four by nine square root. So you are getting root five by three. So Coordinate of lattice rectum is a square by b comma b e. So suppose this is a coordinate of a is your a square by b comma b e. That is your root five. Similarly, coordinate of b is minus four by three comma root five. And here you have also lattice rectum. So generalize, you can write down. End of lattice rectum is plus minus four by three comma plus minus root five. Now question is asking slope of normal. So just calculate 
your slope so just differentiate this equation 2x divided by 4 plus 2y divided by 9 dy by dx is equal to 0 so dy by dx is equal to minus 2x upon 4 multiply 9 upon 2y so from here you are getting minus 9 by 4 x upon y so this is slope of tangent at any point suppose this is a so we have to find out slope of normal so slope of normal is minus dx upon dy that is 4y divided by 9x so end of lattice rectum so just substitute 4 by 9 y as plus minus root 5 divided by x as plus minus 4 by 3 so you are getting 4 by 9 multiply root 5 multiply 3 divided by 4 with plus minus sign it can be positive or it can be negative so you are getting root 5 by 3 with plus minus sign so just check on your options option number 3 which is incorrect option number 2 which is also incorrect and option number 3 is minus root 5 by 3 so it can be minus root 5 by 3 so option number 3 is your correct answer now move on next question question number 69 the line ax plus by plus c is equal to 0 will be a tangent to hyperbola x square upon a square minus y square upon b square is equal to 1 if so when this line is a tangent so just convert it into slope form minus ax minus c so y equal to minus a upon b x minus c upon b and equation uh, of tangent is y equal to mx plus minus root over a square m square minus p square so just compare both the equations so m equal to minus a upon b and minus c upon b is equal to plus minus root over a square m square minus b square now just square both side here so you will get c square upon b square is equal to a square into m square m square you can write down from here that is a square upon b square minus b square so you can see here c square equal to a to the power 4 minus b to the power 4 so check on your options a to the power 4 plus b to the power 4 that is incorrect a square minus b square to whole square that is also incorrect and third one a square plus b square to whole square that is also incorrect and last one if you see this is your a to the power 4 minus b to the power 4 so option number 4 is your correct answer now move on next question question number 70 the coordinates of the foci of hyperbola xy equal to minus 4 this is rectangular hyperbola for which c square is negative so this is lie in second and fourth quadrant so coordinate of foci is here minus root 2 c comma root 2 c and here root 2 c comma minus root 2 c so c you have 2 so just substitute here so you will get minus 2 root 2 comma 2 root 2 and here you will get 2 root 2 comma minus 2 root 2 now check on your options option number 1 plus minus root 2 minus plus root 2 which is incorrect second plus minus 2 root 2 minus plus 2 root 2 this is your correct answer so option number 2 is your correct answer now move on next question 